guys, welcome back to the MCM Buzz Stage. We are live here at MCM London Comic Con, and we have two brilliant actors on the sofa right now from the Big Bang Theory. Please welcome Melissa Rauch and Kanal Nea. Welcome, welcome. How's it going so far at the con? It's wonderful. I'm having a, we were just saying that it's just so amazing being here with all these wonderful people. Yeah, there was a lady we just met who had all of our faces tattooed on her leg. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was right in this part. You were right feeling. in that part, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was right. I, I can't show you where it was, but it was <laughs> on her leg somewhere. Fantastic. I mean, um, they're all here because they love the show, The Big Bang Theory. Congratulations on passing the 200 episode mark. Thank you. Thank that you. deserves a round of applause. Thank you. It's all, it's Thank all you because of you guys. Seriously, it it's all because Thank of the you. fans. And it looks like you had a bit of a party for that as well. Yeah, we, we had did. a big. We did there have a big a party. party. We love a dance party. Uh huh. Is that what we did, right? We danced yeah. till mm -hmm. our faces melted off. Did any chance we? <laughs> this can one can really shake it on the dance this, floor. This I've heard you do a really good shoulder shimmy. He uh, does. Oh, he does. I can you do the shoulder shimmy? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's definitely a Bollywood move. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was one of my favorites. Yeah, that was so. Was look that that, look at that dance. That's my dance face. <laughs> so good. He's such a good dancer. Fantastic. Even when you guys did the flash mob, really good. Yeah, we, we have He's to do another those. one. We've done two now, so we have to do another mm -hmm. flash mob. We'll see. So, Big Bang Theory is watched all over the world. I'm pretty sure everybody here has seen it, right? So, Thank you. But I heard that your wife had never seen it. Is that true? Yeah, my wife had never seen it. I, uh, I told her, I was like, I'm an actor on the Big Bang Theory. And she thought it was a pornography movie. <laughs> Five years later, she's still with me, so, so I did something right. <laughs> she's so great. Has she seen it now? She has seen it now, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's seen it now. There it's, it's on here all the time in London. It's so nice, lovely. It's really You know what I mean? Cool. It's really nice. We feel very lucky to be here, seriously. Well, we love it. And for me, it feels like a friends for the new generation. So yeah. how would you describe it? Hmm. I would describe it as a a fun show for for everyone yeah i mean i think the beauty is that you know we we celebrate nerd culture we don't make fun of it we're those people and we love it these guys wear their colors they wear their t-shirts they love the comics they love their lifestyle they don't hide and and they wear it proudly and i feel very lucky to be a show a part of a show that really celebrates everything that we're all about and doesn't hide from it. You know, we're the new smart, we're the new sexy, and we're taking on the world, and we're very lucky to be a part of that revolution. So wow. thank you guys for everything. You should run for mayor. Right? <laughs> wow, that was fantastic. And um, so we've got to talk about season nine. Benedette is preggers. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, so, I mean, she's a little bit emotionally labeled, labeled at the best of times. So what's going to happen to her with all those pregnancy hormones flying oh around? Oh my gosh, I mean, Bernadette sort of operates as if she was pregnant anyway with her <laughs> mood swings. So maybe, she'll, maybe this will actually make her taper off and be completely calm. Who knows? But I think it's going to be really interesting to see. I'm curious to see what the sex of the baby is going to be. Mm. Um, but I'm told that she'll uh, start showing next season. Showing what? Like showing her, oh, her really? belly, yeah. They're going to be fitting me for a, a, a baby bump soon. Why don't see? you just, this is like the perfect, like perfect opportunity for you to just put on tons of weight. That's a great idea. You should like, just do that. Can we just that. bring in tons of food right now and just start? <laughs> yeah. All we do in Los Angeles tonight. is eat kale salad. So okay. now's your opportunity to really eat some cheeseburgers. You need to have some fish and chips here, mate. Oh, I've been, I've been, you can tell. London is taking, my stomach is taking very well to London. <laughs> and um, how is Raj going to cope then, having another person to vie for ha uh, Howard's attention? Uh, man, I don't know. I think Raj has got his hands full right now with the two ladies that he's dating at the same time. Yeah. So add a baby to the mix and his relationship with Howard. I don't know. He's probably going to have some sort of an emotional meltdown. <laughs> he's going to be the best uncle, though. Oh, he will be the best he's uncle. Be the yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uncle Raji. Uncle Raji, do you think I'll be the godfather of your child? That would be pretty No, I'm amazing. talking about in real life. <laughs> <laughs> to my unborn, not yet baby, you will be the godfather. Thank but you. I want only if it can address you as godfather. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, in season 10, can we expect any kind of new changes? Any, anything you can tease at all? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We just finished shooting... Um, 
for yes, we just finished shooting season nine. We'll know literally the day before we show up to work on August third. We'll get the script on August second, and we know we know what's going to happen. That's mm -hmm. it. You don't think you'll you'll have the baby in season ten? Um, I th I'm thinkful probably it'll be a yeah. pretty long. They, you think they'll show the live birthing of I, the baby? That could be a great episode. I think that would be good. I'd be willing to show it. <laughs> if they want to show it, I'd be willing to go there. I feel like Howie would definitely be there with a the video camera. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's going to be, it's great. I think great. he'll be up in there with the video camera. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the favorite thing, my favorite things about Benedette is when she goes to um, Wolowitz's house and speaks to his mom, she changes her voice into Wolowitz's mom's voice. Can you do that for us? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, London! I love you! <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and uh, with Raj, what would you say is kind of one of your favorite Raj traits? Um, I, to be honest, I know it's not a funny answer, but I really love the sweetness that Raj has, his innocence, yeah. his naivety, his sweetness. He does everything from a very pure place. And as an actor, it's really fun to wake up every morning and go to work and play a character that comes from a very pure place. You know, I think all of us feel that way. All these guys on the show and all these girls on the show come from that pure place. And yeah. that's really fun for me as an actor. So I don't have to go to work and cry. Every, like if I was yeah. in a drama, you know, which would be fun too, but it's difficult to do. I love playing this character because I have so much fun with him. He has so much fun himself. Mm. Uh, we all feel very lucky to be a part of that show. Seriously, we thank you guys so much for everything. You, you don't even know. Would you say that you find your characters seeping into your real life now? Um, I would say so. Yeah. I, there, there's, there's points where I'll be talking and all of a sudden my voice will get very, very high. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Even, I I've you seen that. I'm like, whoa, Bernadette. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that happens. Um, and I'm in that. I'll see, I'll do see stuff it. that I'm like, oh, that that's is so Raj. Raj. Yeah. Or I'll do something in an episode and I'll be like, oh, that's so Kunal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, who's who? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, well, we're going to take some questions from the audience now. So if you want to stick your hands up for me. Okay, and I'll come to you. Could you perform part of uh, the... Yeah, sorry. Uh, could you perform part of the scene where Rajesh dreams about Bernadette? You, you want us to kiss? Is that what you're asking? Oh, <laughs> uh, what? What's perform? I don't even remember. What episode was that? What am I dreaming? Forgive me. What am I? What? What episode? What happens in that episode? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that's that thing when I'm uh, like a wild elephant. My, my love is trumpeting for you. Is it that one thing? Oh, I don't remember anymore. You are my heart. You are my, my heart. heart. My, my universe. universe. Yeah, this my is, heart. There's Bernadette. My universe. Sorry. That was brilliant. <laughs> okay, next question. Thank you. Thanks for the clap. Thank you. Um, okay. For my half-hearted <laughs> performance. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. I wasn't searching. This is sweet. Apart from Raj and Bernadette, who is your favorite character in Big Bang Theory? Oh man, oh, man. I can't choose. There. Are... Bernadette's my favorite character. Really? I can't, I know you that's don't so believe nice. me. You think I that don't, I don't I believe like you because you're, you're, you're sitting saying... here, but yeah. that's not true. It's lovely of you to say. Who's I your love favorite Raj. outside of Raj? Outside? Are you asking him or me? You. Oh, you were looking at him. Sorry. Um, outside of? Why do I have to pick outside of Raj when you're? What do you think, Amy, Sheldon, Benny? I love all of them. I can't pick. I, I'd love to be a Wallowitz, but I could not fit into his pants. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? Who's that gentleman who asked the question? Um, my favorite character is probably either Sheldon or Raj, because they're just really, really funny. All I heard was Raj in that. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, since Jim isn't here to defend himself, I'll give you that honor of loving Raj. Next question. Uh, uh, in real life, are you actually quite sciencey? Uh, in 
It's so funny when he asks a question, everyone turns there, and as soon as he finishes it, everyone turns back. <laughs> Is it uh, what are, in real life? Am I we quite sciency? Sciency. Sciency. sciency, scientific. No, I mean, I, I think the mistake that people make is to think that we're smart. We're so dumb, guys. Yeah, we're just actors. We're the dumbest people you'll Literally ever meet. Literally the dumbest. Dumbest. We're not smart. Not at all. Mm -mm. Okay, next question. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Um, you guys seem such good friends on set. Um, it's alive. It's we, we hate each other. That this was is my torture. question, whether you're good friends out of the uh, show as well. We are. We're super, super close. He's like my brother. Yeah, um, we're very close. We're, it's a, we're very fortunate. It's a very tight group, and we all love each other a lot. And it, during our hiatuses, we miss each other a lot. And I'm so, uh, so happy. One of the reasons I wanted to be here today was so I could be here with this guy and, yeah. and see his play, which you all should go see, The Spoils. It's absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. I saw it in New York, and I was, had the pleasure of seeing it again last night, and it's one of the most phenomenal Thank plays, you. and he is absolutely brilliant in Thank it. You. So it's everyone go and see him. It's you lovely know, seeing you guys. You know what's a funny you. thing? I'll tell you a quick story, because I think we're live, but in the beginning when we started Big Bang Theory, we were all 10 years younger. And we would hang out all the time. We would go out to restaurants and bars and hang out together. And as the years went on, we became older and we got married and we had kids and we had families. So the dynamic has completely changed. Whereas in the beginning, we would vacation together. We were much younger. Now we've added more people to the family and more people to the family. And so now our lives have become, after the tapings, we all just go home. You know what I mean? And we go into our beds and we're old and like our back hurts and we can't do those stair scenes anymore. And <laughs> Yeah. Okay, next question. Stand up for me. Oh, we gotta ask Princess Jasmine. I want yeah. at, at the moment, Roz is like very excited about Benedict's baby. Is that gonna go more or less? What? Would you, could you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Right, I'm Can sorry. you do that in an American accent, please? All right. At, at the moment, um, Raj is very excited about Bernadette's baby. Do you think that's gonna go more or less? Do you think he's gonna get more or less excited about the baby? Yeah. Definitely oh. more. He yeah. will try to kidnap that baby at some point. <laughs> definitely more, right? What do you think? Oh, definitely more. Did you guys see the episode where he brings that huge bear over? Mm -hmm. Man, shooting that episode was like that ridiculous. Bear was that the bear was the most comfortable, comfortable yes, thing we I've saw. ever rested on. No, it was the biggest thing. It's like insane trying to do that scene. I wasn't pretending. Like I knocked all that stuff off for real during the episode and they just kept it. it that was just episode was so hard for me not to laugh. Every that was time that bear he was, was maneuvering that bear. It's hilarious. I, I laughed so much, so, so hard. It's he funny. was incredible doing that. Well, you guys do it in front of a live audience. Did you yeah. have any ropey moments in front of the live audience? Before? I break all the time in front of the audience, always. I'm the worst, I break all the time. But it's so but it's cute when he breaks. I look forward to it because that face when he's laughing. It's, it's funny. So I break a lot. It's funny. Okay, next question here. What's your favorite episode in the Big Bang Theory? Favorite episode? Um, I do love that one. The, the, the bear one that one? you mentioned. The bear one, the Bollywood episode. That with was us. fun. The scavenger hunt episode I love doing. Oh, that was fun. Um, I liked it. Uh, what well, was a Star Trek episode where he got stranded oh, by the side of the road? One. That was a funny one. one. We could rent the car from Enterprise. That's what Rod says. That's so funny. <laughs> when I joke, that's so uh, What was a funny one? Uh, oh, there's so many good ones, you guys. When the when um, when Amy te when Sheldon tells Amy that he loves her. Oh, oh. so good. When Penny so good. gives Sheldon the. Christmas napkin, the birthday present with Leonard Nimoy's DNA That's on it, and he hugs favorites. her. I mean, it's just so human. That show is so human, you know? So, so, so That's loving. A great one. We so love much. these characters as much as you guys do, trust me. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Uh, it's not a question as such, but um, I'm going to stand over there, and when I knew you were coming, I made a little origami Bernadette. Yay! I spent all morning, but I haven't had time to make Raj, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's, I think that's actual size. That's made to scale. <laughs> I think we're about to say, oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Uh, <laughs> Look, that's so thank cool. Thank, give her a round of applause. That's so cool. Thank you. Oh, wow. We are the actual same size. That is so cool. Thank you. Where's mine? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you could have her. We 
could cheer her. Yeah. Raj is getting left out again. Oh. Well, don't worry, because we have a game for both of you. Oh, and, I'm so uh, bad at this. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so we want to know, obviously, more about you, just not your characters as well. So we want to know how alike you are to your characters. We have a few questions for you. I'm going to fail miserably. I'm going to fail miserably. <laughs> This is going to end up on the internet like a viral video of something I said that was bad. Well, it's simply, um, I'm going to read out a statement. These are things that your characters have done on the Big Bang, and it's whether you've done them too. Okay. 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 So you guys ready? So, first question. Are you a good cook? Am I what? A good cook. I am not a good cook. I'm a pretty decent cook. She's a pretty decent cook. (laughs) (laughs) Do you turn pretty cocky when you're drunk? Do I turn cocky when I'm drunk? No, I turn super lovey-dovey. Like, it's so odd. <laughs> it's an odd lovey-dovey. I love drunk Kunal. <laughs> yeah, I get very passionate. <laughs> Have you ever What's attended a midnight screening of a sci-fi film? I have not. I, I haven't, no. I did see, though, I did stand in line to watch uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King. I stood in line to watch the midnight screening of that. I think that counts. That counts. Yeah. yeah, it's not sci-fi as much as fantasy, right, guys? <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> and uh, would you like to time travel? Yes. Where would you go? Oh, my goodness. I would, I would love to just go back in time and see my ancestors and see, like, why we're all so short. Like, if there was an <laughs> incident that happened back in time and if I could change that. To maybe just add some, add some inches. I'd probably like to go back and hang with dinosaurs. That would be cool. And then go into the future and hang with like future us. That would be cool. I would like to see you drunk with dinosaurs. <laughs> I would like to see you very lovey-dovey with dinosaurs. Yeah. And just, that that could cool. end badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want to hop. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so cute. Okay. Can you rock it on Guitar Hero? Yeah, I was pretty mean. I was pretty mean on Guitar okay. Hero. Does anyone still play Guitar Hero? Is that a thing anymore? No, right? Yeah. Like one hand yeah. that goes. Oh, yeah, one gentleman over there. He has I'm no <laughs> friends. Oh. Uh, I'm joking. Except for the very pretty wife of his, who's saying yes, he has no friends. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever fancied your best friend's girlfriend or boyfriend? What I kind of question is wife, that? I have to say, what kind I'm, of question in, is I'm that? in love with his wife. So does that count? Because yeah, he's one of sure. my close friends. I mean, she is. I've a never fancied lady. anyone else's. I haven't. Have you? Is I there fancy, a story then? I fancy your wife. No, but in life, like in in growing up, like, did you ever fancy any one no. of your... No. Why are you I'm, thinking so hard about it? Because it, it, it was more the situation of like guys that I liked always liked my friends. Oh. That was my situation where I would be like, oh, they want to hang out with me. And then be like, no, it's because I want to get it with your friend. Oh. It was a lot of that. It was a very sad childhood, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at you now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Uh, so, did you ever freak yeah. out meeting any of the Comic Con sort of legends on the show, or like Stan Lee or anyone? Yeah, I mean, yeah. all of them. Yeah, I constantly. We freaked out at all of them. Everyone who's come mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. the show. I, I remember being in the uh, dressing room, Leonard Nimoy was going over his lines, and I was just sitting there, and I was like, that's Leonard Nimoy. And, but I was sitting in the mirror, getting my makeup done, and he was sitting in this side, so I was staring at him through the mirror. Wow. And then he was doing his lines, he looked up at me, and I looked away. But I looked away, like, to a door. It was, like, ridiculous. Nothing on the door. I'm looking at the door, and I'm like, well, just keep staring at the door. Like, you've noticed a door panel is missing or something. And then I don't know if he ever, if he ever caught me. Like, if he ever thought I was weird, which he probably did. He did. He did. Which he probably did. It was funny when J- James Earl Jones was on, because uh-huh. we could hear him rehearsing oh, yeah? from everywhere, because his voice is booming. Yeah. Like, oh, Sheldon. <laughs> It was, was amazing, like, like, just sitting in the makeup chair too over yeah. him and be like, a little more powder. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need a little more blush. A little more blush. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, do you own a lightsaber? Like, do I own a lightsaber? I do own a lightsaber. Actually, yeah. I'm an obsessive Star Wars geek. You guys might not know this, but my dog is called Boba Fett. And we're gonna get, we're gonna adopt another one when I f- when I go back to LA after the play, and we're gonna name him or her Django, so we'll have the Fets. Our dogs will be the Fets. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a huge Star Wars geek. I had a Millennium Falcon Falcon when I was six years old, 
that my dad had saved up money to buy us for Christmas and I broke it. Aww. Like it fell from my hands and I was depressed for like years. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a huge Star Wars geek. Just have to buy another one now. I know. Yeah. I should be in those movies. I keep trying yeah. to be in those movies, but not we, yet. Were you geeking out about Warwick Davis being here? What? Warwick Davis is here. He's been in all oh, the movies. Oh, yeah, he's here? Oh. <laughs> he could be your in. All right, see you guys. Peace. I'm out. <laughs> okay, one last question. Have you ever caught your spouse dancing in your clothes? In my what? Dancing in, my, in your clothes. In my clothes. No, th I haven't. I mean, I'd be fine with it if he wanted to. My husband's very tall, so I think if he was like wearing a burdenette cardigan, it would be like a little tiny. Which could be quite sexy. I'd be up for it. <laughs> Have you caught Neha? Dancing? My wife and I wear the same sneakers, which is sad uh, because you're the same shoe size. So, um, so we she's she started dressing like me now. To be honest. Well, you both dress very well. So yeah. You both have good style. I have worn shirts of hers that I think are mine. <laughs> Just Which is a great used. compliment to my effeminity. Mm. A femininity. <laughs> a feminism? A femoral? Like I said, we're dummies. <laughs> I have no idea. You are doing great. But we have one, I have one last question for I you. I thought that was the last question. Well, this is one question not in the game. Ooh, oh, here we go. Get ready <laughs> for some gossip. <laughs> if you can make gossip, be awesome. But if you guys could tell your season nine selves, so your season one or season three sell something from season nine, a piece of advice, what would you tell them? Oh, that's a really, really good question. Don't eat so much or you'll get fat. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I think I would tell myself to relax. I think in yeah. season one, if you watch some of those episodes, it's like, I'm really trying to make jokes. You know what I mean? And I think that that's something that comes with being a young actor. Nine years later, you're so much more relaxed on stage, right? And then mm. just trusting the words. The writing yeah. is so good. Telling myself, just trust, relax, enjoy. That's what I tell myself. Probably have more fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Melissa? I would say I was so worried when I, because I came on and I thought it was just going to be for one episode. And I was really scared. I was on unemployment the week before I got the job. I was, I was out of work and didn't know if I was going to come back. So I think I would tell myself in that first year that I was a guest star that, it's going to be okay because I would stay home and cry in between episodes, like waiting for them to call me to come back. So I would just say, like, it's going to be okay. You'll, you'll have a home and a job. Well, it's definitely okay. And we yeah. are so grateful that you make the Big Bang Theory. So everyone, please thank give you. a massive round of we applause. We love you guys thank so you. much. Thank you so much. You guys, thank you so much. We love you so much. And really, you're in our hearts. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, London. Thank you, thank you England.